It's time to move along with the building process of our new radiator fan test machinery which is all of this weird stuff over there and today we are going to slap on the Bits Power Summit M Pro black water block uh, which Bits Power sent along quite a long time ago and we will see what's it all about how it looks like from the inside and then we'll proceed by slapping it on there and to be honest they will already win a point with me if I cannot over tighten the screws to a point where I will kill my CPU that would already be the world to me so let's have a closer look at what's in this box so far so good no unnecessary imagery let's give it the crap testing product, product description test no 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 Everything looking so far so good. It doesn't have like a craptastic product description. Everything is somewhat accurate. It is made for Intel LGA 12 and 1700. So everything after uh, Intel 10th gen until Intel 13th gen if I'm not mistaken here. And they have a bit of a crappy things in the front like eco cooling engine, whatever the heck that means. Incre cooling efficiency increased by 15% compared to what and outstanding cooling performance this one is fine this this one goes through so the inside is rather simple we get the block a bit of mounting hardware and a relatively good looking backplate which is fine so far the bags are saying some weird stuff like please make sure the contact of block are correct and double check it okay you can use tool to make the contact more closely if the block have standoff design well you can use tool to make the contact more closely if the block ha it, it's two sentences it's it's an exclamation mark followed by a big if well but i've seen weirder stuff i think what they are referring to are those springs here and afterwards you have those thumb screws, which are very nice looking and feeling thumb screws, oh my god. And they add this Allen wrench here, and I think by tool they mean this, and you can, you know, screw them in by hand, and you can use the, th the, the Allen, Allen wrench to tighten it up even more. It, I, I think they, they are trying to say that, although they failed. <laughs> the, other, the other bag says, Please make sure to contact the block already, I'll just yeah, it's exactly the same text. And in here we will find the rest, the spacers and other spacers and they did not include a manual, did they? No, they did not. Installation guide, please scan the QR code. Let's scan the QR code. Installation guide. View. Okay, no, no, just, just download it. Yes, and then show me the PDF. Yeah, and they, the manual adds something that is not written on the blog itself because it doesn't say anything about in and out, uh, inlets and outlets, and the manual says the top one is in and the bottom one where you also have the Bits Power logo and the, the, the Pro tagline, this is out, in, out. Very, very simple. Installation-wise, it's both the same thing for Intel 12 and Intel uh, for Intel 1700 and 1100. It's fairly simple. Screw in the bottom, then through the back plate, then a one of those rings, then through the motherboard, then the black one, then the whole block, then the orange one then a spring and then this here it's that simple they should have just added something like colors to it because it's impossible to see in the manual how, how you really mount this thing but something else you will get is some of bits power's own tp1 thermal compound which yeah we will use why not and now let's have a closer look at the uh, at the block itself it's an all black thing a bit of a matte finish to it. it it looks quite nice i have to say you have that silver bracket going around which is also mounting everything down and the back plate which i'm very happy that this is also made out of metal i think this is aluminum uh, it doesn't really matter about it what it is but uh, at least it's not plastic that's already something and compared to the usual alpha cool stuff it is not going to be 
one of those you have nothing then you have a spring and then you have a thumb screw and if you over tighten it then yeah you will kill something this is not the case here you have spacers and i love that on the back side it looks like a copper nickel plated block which interestingly enough is not totally like okay it, it has a touch to it it is it is i'll try it you can see it it's not completely like polished like the center has a it has some sort of a it is not engraved or anything not like that not like that but it does have like those lines very interesting i'm just guessing that they know what they are doing and that this will perform well uh, we could take this apart in theory but I won't, because uh, then I will never be able to guarantee that it performs like it should perform. You don't want to take these things apart. However, if I just hope that you can see it on the inside, you can see a bit of the, the little fins that are supposed to cool down the CPU. Come on, focus. And now focus again. Maybe you can see them. I, I just hope you saw them at some point. So the block is looking fairly nice. Uh, what, what makes me happy is the fact how it is mounted down and that the, the block itself is huge. It is a lot bigger than the Intel 12700K that we are going to slap this one on. So I'm quite happy with, with everything, how everything turns out here. Um, yeah, I guess let's put it in. Now again, the only thing that does kind of annoy me in the manual is that you have absolutely no idea which spacer goes where because you have the silver one and you have the black one and i am just wildly guessing that the black one goes onto the bottom of everything because that just makes sense uh, it, it I, I have no clue if i'm right because there are no like like numbers or names or nothing it just says like thumb screw uh, adjusting knot back plate bolt washer backplate space support spacer support what is a spacer support and it says four or five <laughs> what is four to five what, what, what does that mean but yeah I, I'm, I'm just guessing that because it's silver and we have the silver spring that those are somehow supposed to oh Oh, 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 yeah, they are really good at that. The spring is supposed to go into the silver one. That way, this will also immediately reach the, um, the screw. Oh, now, now this makes sense. Yeah, your, your manual should really be better than that. I'm sorry, but the thumb screws are amazing. Okay, I have the test bench already prepared right next to me, so let's immediately start with everything. And now I just need, need to figure out a way that you can also see what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's why we have the wings. Okay, now before I put everything in, I will need to spread all of the thermal paste because otherwise, later on, I will need to keep everything here. Oh my god. Do not include that in the video. Do not include that in the video. Yeah, let's spread that sucker. This looks pretty alright. Usually I'm also not spreading the thermal paste on CPU blocks because it doesn't make a lot of sense to do it or it doesn't change a lot if you do. But this time I decided to do it anyway. Now according to my own interpretation of their uh, manual here, now we need to position this sucker like that followed by these here which are keeping it in place. Oh my god, I, I could have weighted with the thermal paste spread. Looks fine. Now followed by the block. Noise. Followed by those here, but with the opening going up. I hope everything is still in focus here. Followed by the springs. Exactly, followed by the surprisingly high quality thumb screws. I love those damn thumb screws. <laughs> off. Okay, now we have it. Yeah, it's always that first, that first round that is a bit harder to do.
Okay, so the whole thing is in there and first up a couple of points for bits power. The finish of everything, the design of everything, I really, really like it. I love the thumb screws. I think the matte black with the silver around looks very, very well made, especially compared to like the average Alpha Cool block where you just have those out sticking screws and it, it just looks odd for a high, high end performance thing. And this looks very, very clean. I, I like this very much. The next plus point to them goes for installation mechanic. Compared to Alpha Cool, this is another world. This is what I like to see. We have a backplate, a backplate that actually does something instead of just falling off if you don't glue it to the motherboard. The, the, the whole mechanic, how you, you, you put it in, you are never in the, in the possibility that you will kill something. And that, that I do love. However, not everything what shines. Their manual is, is crap. It definitely needs improvement. Um, nothing is really explained. You have one chart, you have one image, an explosion image of how it should look like. And I figured out myself that you need to turn the, the uh, uh, gray or the silver Let's call them washers, but they're they not actually washers, but uh, yeah, you need to, to turn them up uh, with the open side up so that the spring can go in them. And once you slap on the thumb screw, the, 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 the thumb screw will stick to the spring. And I don't really get why it's not one piece from the beginning on. It's how they designed it. I have no clue why not. Um, and I needed to figure out all of that myself, which isn't particularly good. Then one mini aspect is that the back plate is not reversible. Like you have the, the screw holes for the screws that are sticking out from the back plate that keeps on the CPU socket. And you have exactly one position in which it fits. And you do not necessarily see that it doesn't fit because it's just slightly tilted and, and it won't fit very, very well. It is not whatever, it, uh, there is one position and the manual doesn't really say anything about it. Not even talking about the fact that they do not include a manual inside the box, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but hey, at least we have a QR code, that, that's something. Performance-wise, I will not say anything because I don't know. It looks like it performs like the average water block. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We will find out in the last video, but as long as the whole loop isn't built, I cannot say anything about it. Plus, even once it is built, I can only say it performs okay or not okay, given on the metric that I see, but the reality is I will have no clue how it performs compared to something. However, this brings me to a bigger question that I have to the audience, which is, is there a potential audience for water cooling specific devices? Like for example, let's say water blocks. Uh, I would love to take whatever case, let's say an, a Thermaltake P5, slap a big S420 Red on there, the most brutal fans, a extremely big reservoir and the best pump, and then just switch out different water blocks, a Fantex water block, a bunch of uh, alpha cool ones, EK water blocks, whoever created a water block, slap it on there and then measure the, uh, the CPU temperature based on that. And is there an audience for that? For like CPU water block specific benchmarks? I would love to do them, but only if there is an audience. The same thing is for radiators in general. Uh, how does an EK water block 30 mil radiator perform compared to an alpha cool one and so on and so forth. We can do that with radiators, with pumps, with uh, water blocks, with basically everything. We are now covering fans, which is also an important topic, but there are more things to, to benchmark, and I would love to do that, but only if there is an audience. So please let me know in the comments if there is somebody interested in, in uh, looking at benchmark charts for different water blocks. I hope yes, but we will see what people will say down below. Okay, so I think for this video, this will be about it. The whole thing is on there. We are ready for the next step. Next week, we will have the lowered um, water reservoir coming for, for my 250 millimeter big one. It's going to be now 100 millimeter and not made out of glass anymore, but acrylic. Uh, but I don't really don't care about that. Then we have the uh, water temperature uh, measurement, let's say like in, in thing that you put in between a tube. This is also coming next week. And then we can finally finish this up and then I can start benchmarking about 50 fans, one after the other. It's, it's going to be great. 
but that's for another day. For today, this was it. A big thank you to Bitspower for sending it over. I don't know how it performs, but at least it looks good. That, that's already something. And great uh, mounting mechanic. Kudos for that. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.